Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and in today's video, we're going to take this beautiful code pen and create a custom Shopify banner section with it. It utilizes the GSAP animation library and gives us these beautiful effects and transitions. Let's get started. Now, if you're not familiar with GSAP, it's a JavaScript animation library. They have pretty good documentation, so feel free to check it out, and I'll put a link in the description. But the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have a cloned copy of the DOM theme, which is what we'll be working out of today. After we've cloned a copy of Dawn, we're going to go in and we're going to start by creating a new section. And I'm just going to call this custom banner dot liquid. Now I have some boilerplate that we can copy and paste in here and I will put a link to my GitHub in the description that you can go to to get this code. So first off what I'm going to do is reference a CSS file that we're going to create. So I'm going to call it custom banner Dot CSS and it's an asset URL and it's a style sheet tag and then I'm gonna go to my assets and I'm gonna create this file and then I'm going to paste in this large chunk of CSS again check the link in the description for this code now if I go back to the custom banner liquid file and come in, the first thing I'm going to do is create the buttons here that are going to live on the sides so we can navigate back and forth. So to do that, I am going to create a um, div and I'm going to call this container all because it's going to have all of my um, HTML code in here. Oops. I'm going to create a main section. I'm going to copy this because there's only going to be a few changes here. Perfect. And the next thing we're going to put in is the actual image here, which in this case is the soda can. Now, they're doing something kind of cool in this code pen where um, this is actually one large image that houses all three of these um, can appearances. And all it's doing is it's transitioning on click to show that section of the can and it's overlaying on an actual SVG shape that makes this can. So there's two images, um, one laying over the other. This fruit cider green pear sticker that you see, an image actually laying on top of a SVG. So this will make more sense when I uh, show you in the customizer. But what we wanna do is come to the bottom of this div here and I'm gonna create a new div with a class of, actually I'm going to call it text, and we don't have this value yet, but I'm going to call for the first title of the settings. And then this is going to have the two images that I just talked about. So the first one is, like I said, an SVG file. And we're going to allow the user to, or the end mer merchant, to select this from the customizer. And the second image is just going to be image two, but it's going to have a different width because it's actually one large image. And I'll show you that in a minute as well. Uh, but it is going to have a width of 795. And I'm also going to add a class on this image because we need to manipulate it on the clicks of those arrows. So I'm going to call it the can, uh, can labels. All right. Now, the next chunk of code is quite large, so I'm going to copy and paste it, and then we can kind of walk over it together. Okay, so that's a lot of code right there. What this is is a section container, and it's going to house all of the little images that we see floating. So if we come back here, and I refresh, this is a pre-made copy, we can see these different pairs floating around, and apples in this case. So 
each of these section houses each of those images. So you can see here, this is for the pears, this is for the apples, and this is for the exotic fruit right here. Now the next chunk of code we're gonna put in is a giant uh, script tag. So you could do this in a separate file like we did with the CSS, but I'm just gonna keep it within this file just for simplicity. And I'm gonna open these script tags up and just paste this big chunk in here. So if we look through this code, what is actually happening? So the main things um, that we changed are really just these H1 texts that we're gonna allow the user to choose in the theme customizer. And, but the most of it is just straight from the code pen. So you can see that we're defining the text that's gonna uh, overlay the back of the can. Um, we have our color variables that we're getting from our CSS file. We have this GSAP um, reference, which again is the reference to the animation library. And then we have some uh, query selectors happening so we can monitor and uh, update these UI elements by adding, um, in the case of the buttons, adding event listeners, listening for click, and then the rest um, to be able to change our positions and manipulate the DOM. Um, here is where the actual logic is for creating the animations with the GSAP library. And as we scroll down, we can see that uh, there are more event listeners and animations taking place. Um, it's pretty well documented, so definitely read the comments and always check out the GSAP library, the link in the description that I mentioned and showed previously. But this is all the code we're going to need. So if we save these files now, and if we refresh our window, it's not going to work. And this is actually expected for a couple reasons. One is we need to import these third-party libraries. We're using the GSAP animation library, and we're also using Font Awesome for icons. So we're gonna get those links, and we're gonna put them into our um, head of our file. So after copying them, I'm going to open up theme.liquid and I'm going to come in and paste them right here. So here you can see we have the Font Awesome CDN and then here we have the GSAP CDN. Now let's save this and give it a try. Uh, one thing I actually overlooked is that we need to go into index.json and we need to add this section so that it'll be uh, showed in the template. So if I come into the current image banner I'm just going to remove it and create my own. And then I'm going to copy this name here and go down to the bottom and save that. Now, if I save. and refresh, you can see that we have our floating pairs, but not a whole lot else. And this is because we have um, requested the section.settings images for these, but we haven't created our schema and, we, and the user hasn't uploaded any photos for this yet. So let's do that now. If we go back to our custom banner file, we can come down to the bottom and create a schema tag. Now I'm going to first give it a name. Now the first setting we want to include is going to be the background SVG image. So it's going to be of type image picker. I'm going to give it an ID of image one because that's what we're refer referencing up in our liquid code. And for label, I'm just going to add awesome. And then I'm going to do this again, but for the uh, overlaying image.
And then I'm going to um, define the three text fields. And these text fields are going to be the text that shows up behind the can. So we just created the schema to add this image here, but now we're going to add the text back here, or at least give the merchant the ability to add that in the customizer. Okay, so we're gonna give this uh, the first title ID. And I'm gonna call it first slide header. And then copy and paste that a few times. All right, second title and third title. And I forgot to change here. All right, now these IDs are important because again, we're referencing them up here and you can see in our JavaScript, we are referencing them right here within this, um, but also we, def we show the first, um, we show the first header by default, if I can find it here, ah, right here. And then we also show the images here. So again, if we save this and go back to our file, nothing's gonna change, but what does change is that we can now go into the customizer and upload these images. Okay, so I've opened up the customizer on this theme, and now if I click on Nick's custom banner, uh, we're gonna see that we have a couple options here. So the first image, like I said, is gonna be that background. So if I go in here, and I've already uploaded it, but you can see, this is what I was talking about, how this image is just the background. It's an SVG, the shape of a can. If you're not familiar with SVGs, it's worth looking at and kind of understanding the difference between an SVG and a regular image file, but essentially SVGs are very, um, very cool because they scale very well graphically because you can define exactly how you want them to shape. So I'm gonna add this here. And now if I add the main image as well, you'll see that this is, like I said, uh, one giant image with all of the different um, labels. And that's what allows that cool transition when we go side to side. All right, now I'm also gonna come here, add the first one, which I believe is pears. Yep, and you can see it show up there. Apple and exotic. Now, if I save this, we should be in business. And if I refresh, you'll see that we now have our can, our floating fruit, and the background text. And if I change it, just like that. Now, of course, this is very minimalist in terms of what you're allowing the merchant to be able to customize, but um, you can see within our code here that we've given, or I've shown the ability where you can um, join the liquid with the JavaScript, um, and uh, you can really go crazy here in terms of the customizations you want to offer. You can give options of what kind of transitions you want to make with uh, GSAP library, and you can also, obviously, you would want to give the ability to change the images. Um, and you don't have to necessarily use the SVG underneath. You could use um, just regular images and have a transition for each slide, even building out each slide into a custom block that the merchant can then go in and update. But this has been a quick tutorial showing how to use um, an awesome code pen from Udiz Solutions Limited. Uh, we appreciate it. And pulling that into your theme and you can create some truly custom uh, and dynamic banners. I hope you've enjoyed this sh short tutorial and I hope that you'll like it. Uh, leave a comment, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see and in the meantime, take care.